Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong make quite a duo. They've been the stars of Donkey Kong Country back on the Super NES and made their epic return on the Wii with Donkey Kong Country Returns. There's one thing that I find weird with these games though, they mostly treat Diddy Kong as Donkey's sidekick, but I'm not sure this is quite the way it is. If we read the Wikipedia article on Diddy Kong, in the first sentence we can read that Diddy is a sidekick to Donkey Kong. The thing is, Diddy is so much more than that, and today we're finally going to pay homage to this little monkey. Hey, I'm Nico, and here's why Diddy is not a sidekick. So, a sidekick is typically a character that has way less personality than the main protagonist. However, I wouldn't say that this is the case with our boy Diddy Kong. What does Donkey Kong typically do besides eating bananas and jumping on enemies' heads? Not much really, but our boy Diddy is way more talented as we could first discover in Donkey Kong Country 2 for the Super Nintendo. Every time you completed a level and hit the end goal hard enough, Diddy would pop out his big radio, his sunglasses, and would play his latest mixtape. Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Diddy is a DJ and a rapper, that's so lit fam! Plus, in Donkey Kong 64, Diddy came back, but this time with an electric guitar. Listen to that guitar solo and tell me that this isn't the dopest solo you've ever heard today! Yeah, this is so good Diddy! Okay, sure, you're gonna argue that Donkey Kong plays the bongo. But look at him, he doesn't even know that he's not supposed to play it with his feet. That's pathetic. But you know what? Not only is Diddy a hip hop genius and a rock star, the guy can even sing like a champion as seen in Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. It seems Diddy only sings when he's alone, so maybe he's just not ready to let the world hear his beautiful singing, but let's just listen anyways. It's a masterpiece. There is one thing we know about Donkey Kong. He mostly only cares about his bananas and nothing else pretty much. Well, Diddy Kong is not like that at all. In Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy and his girlfriend Dixie travel to a very dangerous place full of Kremlins and bad monsters. And they don't do that for bananas or, you know, for fame, for Instagram likes. No, they go there to rescue Donkey Kong that has been captured by our boy K. Rule. You see, the heroes in this game are both Diddy and Dixie. There's no sidekick relationship between those two. I wish this is how Diddy would be perceived when we compare him to Donkey Kong. The two form quite a duo and Diddy's actually the smartest of the two, so saying he's a sidekick is a rather diminishing way of talking about him. Anyways, since we're talking about Diddy saving people... Diddy did not only save Donkey Kong from the evil Captain K. Rule, he also saved his friend Timber from the evil pig, Whizpig, back in Diddy Kong Racing. I bet you forgot about that one. Well, Timber the tiger needed help when that huge pig took control of his island. And this is where Diddy came in and united a team of strong partners like Banjo the bear and Conker the squirrel. You know, that squirrel that once was cute, but then started getting drunk and peeing everywhere. Anyways, my point is that Diddy is a true hero and isn't afraid of getting his hands dirty when his friends need help. And if Diddy truly was only a sidekick, he would have asked Donkey Kong for help to save Timber. But no, he didn't, and this is quite an adventure our boy Diddy participated in. I mean, look at his enemies, a giant dino, a giant walrus, a giant octopus, and a friggin' dragon! 
this is quite intense. I'm so glad to see a young monkey willing to risk his life to save his friends. Just amazing. There's one thing that I have learned about Diddy over the years and that is that he doesn't go on an adventure unprepared. Diddy knows that sometimes evil is so strong that you need some sort of weapon to defend yourself. And this is where he decided to ask his buddy Funky Kong to build a peanut shooter to defend himself. This Kong is pretty smart, don't you think? But you know, Diddy was not satisfied with only having a peanut gun, so he decided to use his brain and create a new invention, the jetpack. With this thing on, Diddy can fly and reach anywhere. He can perform some sick moves that are insane, plus he can also use it to help Donkey Kong glide for a little while, cause you know Donkey is quite heavy, but his jetpack is strong enough for the both of them. Like seriously, Diddy is really smart, he's really prepared, this monkey truly has it all. One thing that I also admire of Diddy Kong is how he loves showing his true colors. Just like all of us, well I assume since you're watching this video, Diddy is a fan of Nintendo and he isn't afraid of telling the entire planet by wearing a Nintendo cap. Yup, his cap says Nintendo, isn't that cool? Plus, he loves playing video games with his friends when he needs a little break, as we can see here with Donkey and Diddy sharing Joy-Con to play some video games. There's no shame in liking the company that makes the best video games ever, and wearing their merch is also a good way of supporting them. Speaking of, introducing Nico BBQ merch store. I know you always wanted to have your very own Nico BBQ t-shirt, so now you can actually do it. But hey, t-shirts are not what you actually want. What do you say of this t-shirt that is not a t-shirt? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> All right, so this is all limited stuff. So if you want them, you click in the links down below, you buy that stuff and you wear it with pride. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, let's get back to the video now. I think there's one thing that truly makes Diddy Kong special, and it is his relationship with his girlfriend Dixie. I mean, don't get me wrong, okay, there's nothing wrong with Donkey Kong's relationship with Candy. It's just that you probably won't ever see her partake in an adventure alongside Donkey Kong, because, well, I mean... Look at her, like do you really see her fighting Kremlins in a volcano? Yeah, me neither. But Diddy and his girlfriend Dixie would. In fact, they already did while they were saving Donkey Kong. Diddy and Dixie make quite a powerful couple. And I wouldn't be surprised to see them on my Instagram under hashtag couples goals. Well, you know what? Good for them. That's another reason why Diddy has way more personality than his buddy Donkey Kong and why Diddy is not a sidekick. He's just way more than that. You know, I realized that there's a reason why I prefer to play as Diddy Kong when I play some Donkey Kong games. It's just the fact that Diddy is way more athletic than his pal Donkey. I mean, Diddy runs faster, he can do cartwheels, he can attack enemies with his tail. Is there anything this monkey cannot do? Diddy is way more athletic than Donkey Kong and during your adventure to save the world, this is something that you got to take into consideration. Sure, Donkey is stronger because he's bigger than Diddy, but that comes at the cost of being considerably slower. Well, I guess I gotta give Donkey Kong some credit, he was necessary to boot up the Donkey Kong arcade, since you know this handle was pretty heavy, but imagine if Diddy went to the gym for a little while, he would get buff, he would be super fast, he would do cartwheels again, he would be like super athletic, and he could probably participate in the Olympic Games. Oh my gosh, he did! Hey, I'm Nico and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can always subscribe and leave a little comment down below and maybe give this video a little like, it really helps me out. Anyways, I have more videos like the one you just watched and you can check them out by tapping here or there on your screen. Alright, see ya in the next one.